Greetings. Welcome to this edition of Mini Devotions of the Anglican Orthodox Church. My name is Jerry Ogles, and I will be your host for this episode. I'd like to talk today about a very famous French philosopher by the name of Voltaire. Voltaire was gifted with great intelligence, with wealth, with the best things in life, except for one thing. He rejected God. You see, Voltaire was an atheist. And all of his life, he fought against religion, the Christian religion. He ridiculed those who followed Christ. And eventually, he came to his room of dying, like all of us will at some point in time. He was seriously ill. It took him two months to die of great pain, of stress, and worry, and fear. You see, Voltaire, at the end, realized what he had done. And his fear of what comes next caused him to send for a priest. And he recanted his rejection of Christ in writing before the priest. And he called upon the Lord out of that great fear in his heart. As a matter of fact, he said that he would give all that he had for six more months of life. And he feared that all those years that he had rejected Christ were coming to fruition now, and that there was little he could do to change it. And in fact, there was little he could do. Because even though he recanted his rejection of Christ, he did it out of fear and not out of love. That's the one component that's necessary. His death was tragic. All who saw him dying feared to be near him because of his cursing of those who had caused him or had been his allies in atheism. His own nurse said that she hoped that she would never see another case of a person dying without God. Well, he did. He died without God. Even though he had verbally recanted, he did it not out of love, but out of fear. Voltaire died without God. Even so, his keen intelligence is quoted by many today, either in or out of the church. For one thing, one of my favorite uh, quotes of Voltaire is that he who can convince you of absurdities can also persuade you to commit atrocities. We see that happening even in our day as we see thousands in New York and Washington and Los Angeles celebrating the massacre of men, women, children, the rape of women, the beheading of babies by the Hamas in southern Israel. A few years ago, it would have been hard for us to believe such a thing could occur, but it did. It did without God, because God is never the author of confusion or of hatred. So let's take a lesson from Voltaire while we are young and able to make a commitment to God. Let's make that commitment now and not wait. 2 Corinthians 6, I believe it's 6.10, tells us that, uh, 6.2, that now is the time, not tomorrow, now. Now is the time of salvation. Now is the day. We're not assured of any other time than what we have even now. Let's take that lesson to heart. God bless you all, and thank you for listening. Goodbye.